In this tutorial, we're going to learn to work with the templates that come with the content library as part of Articulate 360. So we're in PowerPoint. We're going to go to the Articulate tab. And you'll see the content library icon here. Let's go ahead and click on that. And this opens up our content library window. Now what you'll notice is you have a whole bunch of slides from which to choose. These slides are really professional. There's a number of layouts, so you're going to have everything you need to build your courses, and you're going to look really good doing that. So you can choose any one of these. Now when we look at this, we can see that they're organized by template. So for example, here's the flow template. If I scroll down, here's the momentum template. And if I scroll down, you can see access template and so forth. And then within a template, you have all sorts of layouts. Now what we do is we make it easy to view the different layout options. So you can sort templates by light or dark. So let's just look at all the light themed templates. So you can see I've got all my light themed templates here. And then let's say I want to only look at opening slides. So I'm going to click on openings. So these are just all the opening slides for the different light theme templates. So I can see Flow has four slides, Access has four slides, Opportunity has four slides, and so forth. So let's say I want to insert these slides. What I can do is mix and match the slides I want to insert. So for example, I kind of like the slide that comes with the Access, the Welcome slide. I'm going to make that my cover slide. So I like that. So it looks really nice. Um, I'm going through all the different templates. I like the Opportunity main menu layout. I'm going to use that for something. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control and select that. So now I can see I have two slides selected. And I'm scrolling down. And let's say I like this really big one. It's got the bright color. So I want to select that. And this will allow us to also see how the color themes work as well. So I'm going to select this. And now I've got three slides selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit Insert Slides. And then they're inserted into PowerPoint. At this point, they're just PowerPoint slides that I can edit. So for example, I can click in here. This is the text box. I can change my text. These are shapes. Now these are grouped together. So if I want to ungroup them, I just hit Control shift g I can ungroup them and work on them. I can get rid of things. Let's say my course only has three sections, and I don't need this fourth one. I just select it and delete it. And then I've got what I need for my course. So it's just a matter of editing the content, moving things around. Um, you can click in here, make your changes. You can move slides around so you can get the layout and the arrangement that you need. Now the last thing, once you've put all your content together, the last thing is to create a course that looks cohesive. So one of the challenges we have is we inserted three slides from three different templates. So one of the things we notice is this green is different than this green. And this orange isn't anywhere in these other templates. That's easy enough to fix. So let's talk a little about slide templates if you're not familiar with PowerPoint. So if you go to View, Slide Master, every slide that you create is going to have a slide master. And within that slide master, you have layouts. And when you mix and match slides from different templates, you're going to have different slide masters. So that's just something to keep in mind. So for example, if we look at the demo we just worked on, we have our default slide master that just comes from PowerPoint when you build your first slide. And then we inserted three slides, and each was from a different template. So we have three additional slide masters. So if we scroll down, here's the slide master for Axis. And if we scroll down, Here's the Slide Master for Opportunity and so forth. So we're going to have three additional Slide Masters and all the layouts that are associated with them. And that's just the way PowerPoint works. Now it doesn't matter. You're going to have all these different layouts. That's okay. You don't need to use them. If they really bother you, just go ahead and select the layouts that you're not going to use and then delete them. But for the most part, they're just there and you don't need to worry about them. So we're going to go ahead and close this. So we've got three different slides from three different slide masters. And they're all using different color themes and different fonts. So that's easy enough to fix. So just go ahead and select all your slides. So I'm going to select these three that we inserted. And I'm going to go to the Design tab. And over here, you've got your variants. And so you've got your color scheming. So right now they're using three different color schemes because this has its own color scheme, this has its own, and this has its own. By selecting them all, I can apply a color scheme. And now watch what happens to all of the slides here. So right now they look a little discordant because they're not 
the same templates and not same color schemes. But watch what happens. I'm going to choose color and we'll just choose paper and I hit OK. And look, now they all look like they're cohesive, right? Because they all look like they're now part of the same color theme. Now I can do the same thing with the font. So I'm going to select these here and we select all my slides. I'm going to go to the variants here and we'll choose fonts. And let's say I want to use Century Gothic. Click on that. Even though they're all in different templates, you'll notice that when I click here and look at the font, it's using Century Gothic. Now you do get some slides, and this is a good example where this right here is pulling in a color from the theme, but it may not be the color you want to work with. So for example, you may want to use this color on here and on here. That's okay. So it's just a matter of selecting these objects. And because you're using the color theme now, you've got the color themes that are part of that. So you can just choose the green or whatever you want to choose that's part of this. And then um, it's all tied to the same color theme. So we're going to go ahead and let's make this all darker. So that's kind of how you would edit that. And let's say we're going to choose another color theme, right? I've got this here. Go to the, the Design tab. We're going to choose Color. So let's go ahead and choose a Marquee. We'll do that and you can see now it's all changed. Because I changed the colors earlier to that different color within that theme, these changed with those. So it's just a matter of selecting the layouts that you want to work with, bringing them into PowerPoint, adding your content, and then doing that cleanup work to make it look cohesive. And it's just a matter of selecting all the slides, applying the same color theme, and then making the little adjustments that you want to make. And then at that point, you've got these really professional looking slides and didn't have to spend a lot of time designing them. And that's basically it when you're working with the slides. If you have any questions, jump into the community and ask. We're always there to help you out. And then go ahead and watch those other tutorials to learn more about working with Articulate Presenter 360.